Hello, I recently coded this thing and if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out, it's linked in the description below, as well as the finished demo. What I'll be doing today is a variation of this that uses not bars with dots at the end, but prism approximations of cylinders. So let's see how we do that. Here, um, for the structure, we add an M, which is the number of lateral faces. Uh, so then we take this cell loop from here uh, and we put it in here and we change uh, the loop index from I to J um, because otherwise we break stuff. Here it goes only all the way up to N and here we have our bar faces. Okay, so our bar faces and now we take this loop uh, and we put it within a style attribute. So um, same loop, bar face, nth child, um, here I have j plus one, and I need to interpolate differently because I'm not within a style attribute anymore, and I'll call this progress k1 because I already have a k, uh, and it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Except, of course, this is uh, j over m, not uh, i over n. Okay, so having done this, let's move on to the styling. And here, let's say, we can collapse the body, div, uh, this as well. Uh, we can remove this part, we won't really be needing it. Um, we make the top um, 50%. Uh, we make this margin, okay, uh, and as for the transform, here we'll be having first off a rotate x, and we need um, 1 for um, i is 0 and minus 1 for i is 1, so the sign switches when we switch from off 0 to on 1. So this is going to be calc 1 minus uh, 2 times i. So um, this, um, okay, I'm going to need to put this whole thing within parentheses, okay, and still within the calc, multiply by 90 degrees. Then I translate along the third axis by half the bar height, okay, so this should put them at the ends of the bars. Okay, that does it, and for now we collapse these um, before and after pseudo elements. Um, and now we'll be having uh, the bar faces. So what we do here is pretty much take this off the bar um, here, uh, take the background as well. So. Um, Take that too. Okay, so uh, having done this, I need a different width for my bars. One that depends uh, on uh, this radius, which is going to be uh, the in radius. So what I do here is compute the tangent of half the central angle corresponding to one lateral face of the bar. So within a style attribute, I have, sorry, the tangent. So um, this is pi over m. Okay, so having done this, again, I don't want way too many decimals. So again, I need to interpolate this. Let's not forget about that. Okay. This is going to be my tangent. Okay, so having done this, um, I take that width from there and I compute it here and it's calc twice that tangent uh, times the in radius. I need to interpolate that as well. So I've done that. One more thing that's problematic here. Um, this needs to be within a calc and the width needs to be interpolated. So 
it should then work. Okay, it works now. Now let's start distributing them. Um, let's also set a box shadow. A box shadow inset 0, 0, 1 pixel. Okay, something like this. Um, and then let's set transform rotate y. Um, okay, so this is going to be a calc. Uh, that's the progress k1 uh, times one turn. Then I translate along this uh, axis uh, by that in radius. So I should see my bars now. Okay, I am seeing them. Good. Now that I've done this, let's, let's maximize the CSS part. Now we can take this uh, HSL value from here. Um, and here we have instead a linear gradient. Linear gradient. And um, let's say one end, the other end. So here we have zero, so it might as well just take all of that out. And here we have one plus. So um, this should do it. And I think that looks like a pretty sharp change. So let's put some black in the middle. I don't know. Oh, black like that. Or that's a bit too much. Maybe we can do something uh, milder. So uh, for example, just put a different gradient on top. So just have a second linear gradient on top. So um, let's put this right here. Okay. Now here we have a linear gradient. Again, linear gradient. Um, transparent. Uh, black transparent okay let's see how it looks with this gradient on top okay um it's better but i think we can do even better so let's make the one in the middle not completely black let's make it more like rgba 85 okay um, and we could not use transparent, but instead use a color, and that color is going to be something like RGBA, and start from a black, from a white, sorry. So this is going to make the ends lighter. Um, I think it looks better this way. Um, Something else I think uh, we could do is set a lightness. Um, let's set it to 65% and use that inside the HSL. So here where I have 50%, let's use the lightness instead. So Let's see. Okay, this uh, this looks some uh, better, I think. Um, I think I can bring this uh, even lower. So it's not uh, that uh, crazy. Okay, and I think I can take this uh, shadow from here and. Um, use it here as well okay so that's uh, that's making the bars a bit uh, more clear um maybe i could uh, even enhance that a bit more i don't know um something else i do want 
to see if uh, it has any effect at all. Maybe on performance. Okay. And let's reduce the number of bars as well. I think that's going to help with performance. So, um, yeah, I think I'll just uh, leave it at this. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to put out more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can, please consider supporting my work. You can do it by being a very cool cat and supporting my work on Patreon. Or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. Links for all this stuff will be in the description below. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.